there, welcome to Genesis Models, my name is Bob Waldron and welcome to another vlog and it's an absolute scorcher here in the UK. Um, so to get started let's have a look at last month's competition which was for um, our 172nd scale, the um, Bristol Bowfighter TF10. That was by Airfix, um, a really cool, cool kit by Airfix. Um, now, after doing the usual random number generation program, came to the end of the thread, I came to the user Predator7. So, congratulations to you, Predator7. I'll give you an email. Get this shipped out to you free of charge. Um, sorry for all those of you who didn't win, but there will be um, this month's competition for July, um, which we'll announce later on in this vlog. Um, but first off, I wanna sort of move along and just show you um, some new kit release news for July 2018. Hello there, and welcome to July 2018's kit release news. Starting off, we have in 132nd scale, a T5E Tiger, and that's by Kitty Hawk Models, and it is going for 69 pounds. 99 and going at 99 pounds 99 we have a f 104 g starfighter um, the upgraded edition and that is by itali air we have a fucker wolf ta 183a uh, that is by academy and that is in 148 scale also in 148 scale we have a dragon with a fucker wolf fw 190 a stroke five um, we have also a really nice kitty which is the hawker typhoon mark 1b limited edition by eddard now that is coming in at 41 pounds 99 a really nice kit we have a supermarine spitfire f mark 20 22 stroke 24 by Airfix, which is coming in um, at £36.99. We've also got from Airfix a brand spanking new tool of the Vickers Wellington Mark 1C by Airfix. Um, that is at £30.99. We've got a little bit of armour here with a Soviet T90MS. That is by Zvesta um, and that is uh, £29.99. We've also got a M60A2 early um, and that is by AFV Club um, which is costing £64.99. And that is it for July 2018's kit release news so there's some of the kit release news july 2018 um, got a few things coming up in this vlog um, got some magazines to show you which i'm going to show you in a bit i'm um, also going to talk about some gbs and and a load of other goodies like that let's start off with um, we'll, we'll do the airfix model world magazine um, i've got this on like uh, a monthly thing now so i'll probably just throw it in just to show you what's um, good and what's um, going on in the world of airfix um, so what we've got um, in this magazine I mean as usual this is August 2018 it's about £4.60 in this magazine this we do have a lovely lightning uh, this is 172nd scale um, I do believe that one's by airfix yes yeah, airfix is 172nd scale lovely kit the 148 scale is also you know really nice kit also um another one of interest we've got the uh, which one's this this is a 170 second scale um kafir which um is also looks good do like this one here as well the um i do believe it's an m3 grant um but what's interesting is you know this is um done by someone of a bit of a younger age of 16 years of old because i mean let's face it i mean we're all pretty sort of getting on a little bit in this hobby so it's nice to see someone um in their teens actually tackling this stuff um cool sub subaru and whatnot um you know there's quite a bit in here so you know as usual we've got the usual airfix you know what's sort of being released new and you know a bit of advertising you know that kind of stuff um but as a you know just a bit of a note just to show you a few things because i don't really want to um go off and show you everything and there's no point in you buying it but i mean here we have this um the subaru which is rather cool um we've got loads of sort of bits going on with this and they it goes through 
um, the interior, um, you know, getting that nice gloss finish that you want on cars, um, you know, and there's quite a bit going on there as well as all the other builds that are in here. Uh, I do want to show you uh, our M3 Grantier, which is um, basically 16 years old. It's Joe Turner. Um, and not only that, he's also tackling that lovely 135th scale um, M3 Grant by Tacoms. Tacoms have been producing some really smashing armoured vehicles of late and this is one of them. So it's, he's got a damn good kit, he's only 16 and you know, he does show you, you know, some nice sort of techniques um, going into all sorts of stuff. He's tackling a bit of photo etch. Um, we've got all sorts of pre-shading and stuff going on um, and he's just done a really good spray job along with loads of lovely weathering and as I say it's really cool to see the younger people getting in on this hobby so you know it's good to, to see that we've got the lightning here which is also good it's 170 second scale and um, it goes off and uses um, stuff like resin quite a fair bit of resin as you can see here I mean we've got um, all sorts of exhaust, wheels, cockpits, um, I think we've got missiles in there as well. Um, but there is, it does open this up, which is rather, rather cool. Um, and it does sort of show that, I mean, we've got this kind of comparison thing going on as well, like what's the kit got for offer compared to the resin that is brought for this, which is quite interesting to see. Um, but I like how it does the whole, let's open up the engine bay and bring that together. Um, which is again quite cool lovely natural metal finish and some some cool panel line washes also and then during the he the end I mean we end up um, you know with the usual what's the latest book releases the latest kits that are being released as well as you know there's a bunch of aftermarket parts you know just the latest stuff that's been released and whatnot um, so that is the um, Airfix Model World magazine for August 2018 uh, a nice great buy and also in this month we've had the starting of the new GB which is the whole new diorama group build um, that has started on the first so I mean you've got plenty of time to like get in there get started start building a simple diorama um, I do want to just quickly show you um, a couple of pictures of what a few of our guys have already started the group build because I mean I'm filming this on the 5th uh, we've got Ted USA is starting um, the Batmobile um, from the television series that's going to look like an absolute um, stunner as always coming from Ted USA um, we've also got VDB076 he's doing a 1 in 20 scale uh, what is it a 1 in 20 scale wave pack um, Crote um, MA.K I'm not quite sure it's um, alternate sort of world war ii german thing i think i'm not 100 percent sure uh, it's 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 you know it's kind of like a science fiction kind of thing anyway but um i'm sure that's going to look good if vdbo's um in on that as well because he's won a couple of top guns himself so you know we've already got a couple of builds going on out of the gate i'd like to see more of you guys get involved i mean it's only been started for five days you've got months and months i mean i do believe it's some time after christmas i'll probably just whack it down yeah uh, when it actually ends but yeah you've got a good good several months um, to get in on it now it is a diorama group build so um, you know we don't want to sort of make it hard we want to make it so that anyone can get in get involved I mean whatever kit you're building right now to go off and do um, a big diorama or even a tiny little diorama I mean you know anyone can get in and do whatever you want to do depending on whatever you're building um, you, you don't even have to have built a model uh, I'm quite happy if you guys to go off and go do you know what I've got this Spitfire in my display cabinet I'm just gonna do a quick little diorama piece for it to just sit on um, and that is quite acceptable as well um, you might be working on you know an FA-18 maybe and you want to just do a diorama of like a flight deck or something um, or even just little things even stuff for like miniatures um, water dioramas absolutely um, anything that's diorama related um, and as I said in the last vlog it, dioramas are um, I, 
I know me personally and a few other people, I mean, we like to build our models, but when it comes to doing like scenery, terrain, dioramas, um, those kind of things, we kind of mm, maybe not want to put so much effort into them. Um, but it is another aspect of the modeling. And I always try and push myself, not just to stick to like one modeling sort of genre, but to go into as many areas as possible from aircraft, armor, miniatures diorama ships you know just jump into everything because you can learn so much from all the different areas and um and, and that's the way i like to teach and wait like to learn myself is to be able to just take everything from everything and basically bring all them together and and you can like sort of you know aircraft and armor there's there's certain things you do in armor that you don't do in aircraft but you know if you mastered both of them brought them together i mean you can do interesting things with aircraft that you wouldn't normally see um, it's, it's that kind of thing really so um, really would like to see more of you guys jumping in on diorama giving it a go just give it a try um, and, and you know we'll do the whole um, you know kind of judging and everything I do believe it's around about Christmas time when um, that comes to an end so let's move into a little bit of war gaming in this vlog we have the new release of the white dwarf uh, by Games Workshop. This is the uh, what issue is it? It's the July 2018 issue. Um, how much do these cost now? I keep forgetting. It's um, £5.99, which isn't bad when you think about it. Because, um, really, let's have a look at um, the Airfix and the White Dwarf. I mean, really, I mean, I know it's like about. Uh, what is that like one pound um, 40 extra, but I mean there's like There's about almost like two or three uh, Magazines here worth in this white dwarf. It is a whopping 144 pages so um, there is a hell of a lot of content in this magazine so there's a bit of um, everything for for everyone uh, really nice um, sort of got this sort of set, um, part shiny part um, satin gloss kind of cover going on nice quality paper um, there is so much in here but just a quick sort of um, look at what is basically new releases this month new releases this month because last month we had the whole new age of sigma um, release with the new soul soul wars that has sort of really sort of kind of you know been a focus on this magazine and what's coming up this month because we do have uh because what came in the the, the new box set was the night uh what was it the stormcast eternals and it was the what was that called again the night haunts so you know we've got the new battle tombs for the stormcast eternals uh, and they get like a limited edition version and then there's the uh, war scrolls and the dice as well as the uh, malign sorcery as well these cool new sorcery things that are going on really do like that with this new edition um, and you've got basically oh yeah and you've also got the lord um exorcist as well he's coming out he's a nice a nice miniature there to be fair as well it shows you a couple more uh, then you've got the night horns which is you know they've got their battle tomb and dice and war scrolls and their um, malign sorcery as well so the two armies that come with the box you're getting a load of lovely sort of extras um, to, to add to that if you want to build up on them um, also new releases I mean nothing miniature wise um, for um, the um, shade spire but you know we do get some new um, leader cards as well as some new boards as well which should sort of make things a little bit more interesting as well as the new cards as well for for your leaders um, you do have a new um, team for Blood Bowl, uh, but apart from that, that is pretty much the main releases. Now, as I said, there was absolutely tons in this magazine. I mean, there is just so, so, so much content to go through. So I'm just only going to like, you know, pick out some bits that I kind of like just to give you a feel for it. Um, we do have a cool battle report, which is um, just a big night on nights. Um, battle going on with this one absolute loads of nights um, it is a good read to, to, to sort of go through all that and um, you know they've got the whole um, the, the city sort of look and um, you know it's, it's a pretty good battle as you can see and it's there's quite 
the several pages on that battle report also um, you know you've got your, your usual sort of golden demons and all that kind of photography going on which is rather cool and like collecting armies um, that sort of stuff um, another thing that I did um, like about this issue is you do get the Warhammer Crack Quest new rules as well so this is going to be um, a good white dwarf if you're a fan of Warhammer Quest um, you know you've got this whole new rules system because of the new release of Age of Sigmar Soul Wars you've got all these new miniatures new models and they basically give you the rules to use the miniatures from the new Age of Sigmar's Soul Wars and to be able to play them in Warhammer Quest so it's cool to have some new rules there to, to, to play with your miniatures um, another thing that I kind of picked out, um, I do like this, the, the um, bit at the back where they sort of show you some um, modelling painting techniques of um, how to get certain effects because um, with the Night Lord you've got that kind of spooky, ghosty kind of um, flowing type sort of cloth going on and they kind of just show you how to kind of get those effects showing you through the different stages and um smoke and sort of spooky fire sort of thing you know it's it's um quite cool to take a look at that um so that is the um white dwarf for july 2018 and so finally we come to the end of our vlog which um basically we're going to now announce july 2018's competition which is going to be for um our uh, mcdonald douglas uh, phantom fgr1 this was a cracking kit I, I i do remember i did say i wanted to go ahead and build this kit and i brought a second one in uh but you know in the end i ended up deciding on building um the harrier instead because i mean the harrier is a bit more easier to build and like the harrier is more of a sort of a beginner's guide to modeling um so it was a little bit maybe a bit more intermediate building wise so um yeah i've got this spare kit to give away now so um basically it's 176 scale it's by airfix and as always to be in it to win it all you've got to do is comment of on the genesis models um forum under the competition for july 2018 or you can even comment on youtube in the comment section down below any comment you want doesn't matter what the comment is um as long as you just come one once and that basically just gets you entered in for the competition and the next month i'll um, announce who is the competition winner after doing a random number generation program and counting down the thread or youtube um, and then i'll get it shipped out to you free of charge so sadly we've come to the end of this vlog hopefully you've enjoyed it hopefully you're looking forward to all the new releases and everything that's going on i've got a whole bunch of modeling to do myself um, but don't let the heat get you down too much so um yeah hopefully you've enjoyed so until next time my name is bob waldron this is genesis models and i'll see you next time